Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle. So if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. And by the title of this video, you already know that we're doing a girl talk slash Q&A. So let's get started. It's not necessary to be in a relationship. I, no, it's not necessary. Just because you see your friends in relationship and everyone around you in a relationship, you don't have to be peer pressured into feeling that you really need to be in a relationship. It all comes down with time and when you are ready and when you are comfortable to say, you know what, I'm ready to take the next step and this is what I want to do and this is what I'm ready to do. So it all comes down to you, your belief when you're... There are some major turnoffs in friendship. Liars, when you're the only one making plans, but when they gossip behind your back, uh, insecure friends when they believe that you should be their only friends and you should not have any other friend they get jealous like um no friendships and you have many more but those are the stuff. some turn offs in relationships just as the same thing with the friendships they're really kind of similar liars cheaters not willing to communicate when you have to make all the plans in the relationship certain well it depends on the type of virgin controlling jealousy narcissistic what is the right age to get into a relationship there is no right age it is when you are mature enough when you are ready when you are establishing yourself that you've already mastered what you will, you would like in a relationship what you would like in somebody else and when you are ready not about the right age it's when you are ready some people date start dating in middle school in high school in college when they're finished with college you know it all depends on when you are ready when you are mature and when you decide that you know what i'm ready to start dating so, tips yeah. on how to gain confidence i would say positive thoughts speaking positivity over your life and believing in them also just accepting yourself for who you are and to just know that you are you and nobody else on this earth is you and that is like one of your, your most powerful tools that you can use. How to make new friends? By giving compliments. I like your shoes, I like your outfit, I like your hair. Or asking questions like where did you get your outfit? Where did you get your bag? Where did you get that sandwich? I know. Just build a conversation and then one conversation can lead to another and then there's a friendship it all depends on if you're an outgoing person how to make real friends this one is kind of tricky because you never know when you are getting a real friend because you may have this friend right now that is your best friend this friend knows everything about you and then you consider this person a real friend and you know this person fall out you know this person fall out and then this person start gossiping about you behind your back and but you at one point consider this person a real friend but this person turns out not to be a real friend so there is really not a guide on how to find a real friend because persons have a way of hiding their true colors from you for a very long time and it takes a certain situations for those true colors to be revealed. So going into a friendship, having friendships, you just have to that they're different and have trust in them. But you just never know how to make a real friend. And most people don't show their real colors. So the realest friend you have is yourself. I think social media affect relationships. Yes and no. I say yes because... Uh, if you are not grounded in your relationship and and trust each other 100% when all the critics from social media leaving comments and all that you are reading those comments and you're not fully secured in your relationship it starts to let you question yourself and question your relationship and question your partner and that can lead to a lot of confusion in the relationship and that caused a breakaway in the relationship and 
if you are secure in a relationship and you already establish all the factors before posting on social media, I don't think it will affect your relationship because you're well secured in your relationship and you guys have already established the pros and the cons of posting on social media and what social media can do to your relationship. It just all boys done to trust and communicating. Pads are tampons. I've never used a tampon before. It's always pads. I think a lot of persons are not using pads. They're using tampons or chill cup. I think that's what most people are using. But it all depends on what you are comfortable with. So you can try out every method that there is and stick to the one that you are comfortable pads with. And discharge. Discharge are 100% okay. I know a lot of persons think that you're sick. Something is wrong if you're seeing discharge, but that means your body is cleaning itself, you're healthy. The only problem there is when you're seeing a discharge is that if it is yellow or green or it has a very bad order, then I will say go to the doctor. But otherwise from that, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly healthy. Your body's cleaning itself and there's nothing to worry about. Should girls shoot their shot? Absolutely. I think it's okay if a girl wants to shoot their shot. Nothing is wrong with girls shooting their shot. Guys love when girls shoot their shot. And some girls love shooting their shot. Nothing is wrong. If you're a girl and you want to shoot your shot, go for it. You may end up scoring. And if not, you can always try again with somebody else. Can a boy and a girl just be friends? Of course. Guys and girls can just be friends. A lot of persons think that two separate genders cannot be friends, girl and boys. They have to be woken up. They have to be cine killings or whatever. I absolutely disagree. They can just be friends. No feelings attached. No crushes there at all. They just can be friends, really good friends, best friends, of course. And nothing sneaky about it. I think it's high time that we stop assuming that girls and boys cannot be friends just friends how to not compare yourself with other girls i think with today's society with social media we see all these different persons posting their pictures their videos on the internet and they have smooth skin no wrinkles no pimples and the, the filters and all that social media is not real and you just have to know not everything you see is real pictures can be edited video can be ed videos can be edited so you don't have to compare yourself with other people because you are there's just one you you don't look like everybody else that there is you're not um, you're not basic yeah and you are that girl and if you are hot you're confident you're beautiful and you are the moment and how to get over toxic relationships and friendships block and delete so block and delete every memory block and delete every contact from them so when you delete everything by time goes on you're moved on you don't remember so in the meantime you just do self-care affirmations through content positive that you are going to meet other people whether friends are significant other you're going to meet other people and things that turn out better than how it was before everything happens for a reason and better is out there for you you just had to go through this process first to get to the finishing line which is the winning line so yeah so those are it for the questions so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel like this video and comment down below video ideas that you want to see on my channel go and watch my other videos my morning routine that i just posted go and watch it Mwah.